You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? We're integrating higher order trig functions. More specifically, we're integrating the tangents to the fifth power of x. What do we do? Since tangent's odd, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna peel off a tangent squared because we need to manufacture a secant. That's why we have that tangent squared and we convert that now. That's the secant squared minus one dx. What's next? Distributing that tangent to the third. Oh God, oh God. After I do that, I wanna split it up into two different integrals. And I'm doing that now where I have the tangent to the third x secant x dx minus the integral of the tangent to the third, and I heard we gotta do that same trick. Everywhere I go, I see the same trick. I peel off a tangent squared because I'm gonna manufacture another du, and this is what's happening here. Rinse, lather, and repeat. I distribute in that tangent so that I get an integral that looks like the one that we just had. Now I got that minus on the outside, so be careful with that plus, because I'm distributing that in there as I split that up into two different integrals. Yeah, now we're almost there. Let's just go ahead and bring back that first part. Oh yeah, tangent to the third secant squared x dx. What's next? Let me clear some room. Whoa, so I'm going and I'm rewriting some stuff faster. Faster. Okay, so now let's handle these first two integrals with a little u sub. So what are you gonna let u be? You're gonna let u be the tangent of x, so then du is the secant of x dx. Then we replace those pieces that's u to the third du minus u du. We integrate that, that's straight up polynomial. Add one, divide by it. So that's u to the fourth over four minus u squared over two. Then we back sub our tangent in. All right, I write. One fourth tangent to the fourth x minus one half tangent squared x. Now to the later part, bam. That's the natural log of the secant of x plus c. Box and flower.